joins us live from Orangevale talking car safety for pets. Are there really such a thing as car seats for my doggies? Well, there should be. You betcha, there sure are. There's so many out there now on the market. But, you know, how do we regulate these things? How do we know if they're really safe for our pets? There's a brand new organization out that actually it's a nonprofit, and they're investigating this to make sure that these seats, look at these, look at little our, our little model Aww. here. This is Neva, isn't she cute? <laughs> and she's strapped in with her little harness and her little car, softy car seat. But really, how do we know these things are safe? So there's a new nonprofit organization, carpetsafety.org. You can look them up. Um, and they're investigating all this. There are no live animals are being used, but they're doing crash tests on all these different products that are out hmm. on the market now. Well, you know, I mean, we do crash tests without live people uh, for humans, so uh, certainly why not for, for doggies? Um, I got, by the way, any idea on the price range on something like this? What do I spend for what I'm looking at there? You know, it really varies on the product. There's all sorts of harnesses and seat belts now. They can go as low as $20 and all the way up into the hundreds and $200 range. You know, you just have to look around, shop around for the safest one for your pet. Also, before I forget, this, this is just so creative to me. Look at this. It's a shopping cart tether now. You can actually tether your pet in your shopping cart. Oh. What does that say? Oh, there you go. <laughs> Whoa, it says people are going shopping with their pets. That's, <laughs> that's surprising to me. Okay, so Dr. Jill, you know Charlie, my little Australian Shepherd, who's growing by the minute. Um, what's going to be good for him? Because he's not going to fit in that same little carrier that that teeny little dog is fitting in. Right, you know, crates are always good. I think they're safe. Uh, you know, they actually do have safety belts for your pet, but make sure they've been tested. That's really important because, God forbid, you do get in an accident. Some of those can actually harm your pet more than help them. You know, I'm going to link uh, centerforpetsafety.org so folks can follow up on this, Doc. Uh, you know, I have no experience <laughs> with a little perky-looking face. <laughs> uh, I have no experience. I mean, I've grown up with dogs and traveling in the car and never had a problem. You're a vet. Do, do you have people bringing in animals that were injured because of a car wreck? I do. You know, the, the mere impact of, I mean, just hitting their head or the force of the vehicle can cause concussions, just like in people. Some of the animals can go right through the windshield. I've actually had a couple of cases where people go off the road, the dog gets thrown out of the window, oh, they lose wow. the dog in the oh. woods. I mean, there's a cascade of events that can happen that is just an awful, awful chain of events. So make sure pet safety first. Keep your windows up so that they don't get things in their eyes. All those factors. And before I forget, I want to thank Posh Puppy Boutique for supplying all these cool little car seats. They're up in Rockland. They have a whole myriad of different items for pet safety as well. Posh Puppy Boutique. Nicely done. <laughs> uh, again, give me to the end of the show, Doc, but I will have uh, linked uh, the uh, pet Center for Pet Safety.org. And please know, folks, if you want to schedule an appointment with Dr. Jill, check out her website, drjill with a Y dot com. Or just give her a call. The number is there on your screen, and she's very easy to talk to, we have discovered. Oh, she is so good. I honestly, I just love her. I will call her all the time asking little questions about Charlie as he's grown older. All right, we've got just about 20 minutes now before 9.